Hey guys, welcome back to the MBTX Limit channel. My name is Chase Bradley. I'm Veronica Bradley. And today we're gonna to be talking about some reasons why you might not wanna move into San Antonio. Number one, lower income. Yeah, San Antonio is typically like a lower income area. What I'm talking about, if you took one job from San Antonio and you put that same exact job in another area, a lot of the times that San Antonio job is gonna have a lower wage associated with it. One of my prime examples of that is BAH for the military. You always look at your BAH to try to figure out, you know, what, what you can afford in terms of housing. And typically in the San Antonio area is gonna be much less than a lot of other places. Even within Texas. Yeah, even within Texas. So I felt like if homes are more expensive, BAH would be higher. Yeah. So you kind of have to like weigh the options, but yes, in general, lower income with uh, paying jobs. Number two, high sales and property taxes. Sales tax is kind of blanket throughout Texas in general. There are some areas that get a little bit different sales tax. Uh, but 8.25%, you want to compare that to some other cities, they're running like 5%, 4%, 3% sales tax. It, it makes it kind of expensive to purchase things, especially bigger things here in San Antonio and Texas in general. Property taxes though, there's some areas in San Antonio that are like over 3% property tax. Even just comparing to like New Braunfels, like in New Braunfels there's some areas that are at 1.365% property tax that that kind of a difference can be hundreds of dollars on your mortgage thousands and thousands of dollars over the course of you living in a property i mean when you go to buy a house make sure you check out the property taxes especially if you're thinking about the san antonio area uh, because it can make a huge difference yeah but keep in mind new brothels homes cost a little bit more than san antonio homes so you kind of have to switch but overall look at the big picture Okay, and our third on the list is traffic and congestion. Yeah, just always, always, always traffic. Uh, I mean, as long as I've lived in San Antonio, and I grew up in San Antonio, in like Converse in the San Antonio area, uh, there has always been congestion. There's always been traffic on one of the many highways that go through San Antonio. And at any point in time, all of them can be very, very congested. So you could just imagine there's construction on 1604, there's construction on 35, it becomes a congestion nightmare. It is a nightmare. Take your time and plan ahead. It's the best advice we can give you. Sometimes I don't listen to my advice and I run late, but for the most part, plan ahead because you just don't know what you're gonna encounter. And number four, which I'm not really bothered by this one, but we do not have major teams other than the Spurs, go Spurs go, um, in San Antonio. So like other areas might have, you know, uh, major league teams and NFL teams. We have the Spurs and we appreciate our Spurs, but some people have been wanting to bring football into San Antonio and it hasn't happened. At least for the NFL. There have been XFL teams mm -hmm. and other arena football teams that'll pop up here in the San Antonio area. But if you're looking for big, big name teams like Dallas Cowboys, Houston they, they just, Texans, Houston Texans, we just don't have a major sports team here in San Antonio outside of the San Antonio Spurs. But San Antonio residents, even all the way up to Austin, we love the Spurs. This is Spurs nation in this general area. And if you really just need to get your football fix in, we've got UTSA, they've got a football team there. The local colleges here have football teams. And there's always local high school football, which is always an amazing time. Go check them out. Support your local high schoolers playing football. Uh, it's Sometimes it can make up for not having an NFL team. We've, we've had some clients move in from out of state who we've taken uh, them to our local high school football teams, um, Friday Night Lights, and they're impressed. They're like, wow, this I can't believe this is high school. Number five, and this is one that is on the top of my list because I get eaten up by bugs, 
mosquitoes and fire ants and I cannot stand them. Yeah, bugs in Texas just kind of go hand in hand, especially fire ants. Fire ants are a menace. Are the devil itself. In this area, they are so terrible. They could bite you and leave huge nasty welts, welts mm -hmm. and they can just keep on stinging you. They keep on attacking you. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, mosquitoes could tend to be a nuisance here. Uh, ants, all kinds of ants, but fire ants are the ones that you really got to look out for. Uh, flies, it seems like every summer, there's just like the a swarm of flies that come in all the way to San Antonio, New Braunfels. It is insane. You leave your door open for longer than two seconds and it seems like you've just got a ton of flies in your house. Uh, you know, definitely take steps to mitigate that if you don't like that, but bugs are Pretty terrible. Yeah, here in this area. and I want to throw in snakes too. I know they're not a bug, but um, there's a lot of snakes here, especially with us in New Braunfels being close to the river, San Antonio. I mean, you don't even have to be by the river to get a snake, not just a garden snake, <laughs> like actual snakes that you don't want near your pets or yourself. And next on the list is Chase's favorite allergies. Yep. I'm thinking about my allergies right now. I took some allergy medicine this morning. I still, before we started recording this, I probably sneezed about 10 to 15 times. It's just <laughs> grass allergies, but they're every season, every season they pop up. If you if you're susceptible to allergies, moving into San Antonio is gonna be a big challenge for you. You gotta make sure that you're taking the necessary steps not to look like you know, you have a runny nose all the time. You're sneezing 100,000 times a day. Allergies here, for some reason, <laughs> are just pretty, pretty rough. They've been bad the past few, for me, months. I think we've been also, get, we've, we have received a lot of rain from years before. We were more in a drought before. So I feel like, yes, the rain is great, but it brought in some stuff. I mean, it's not just us suffering like our neighbors and coworkers and everyone talks about how bad their allergies are to the point where like, is this a sinus infection or, you know, is it just allergies? And we're kind of trying to just better. The good thing, the good thing to do is to take your medicine daily, even if it's over the counter, because when you don't take your medicine daily, it's not effective or as effective. Who are you talking to? To you. <laughs> Another thing should be kind of common knowledge here, but it is hot. It is so, so hot. We've ran multiple days in this summer where we were over 100 degrees. If you really don't like the heat, uh, San Antonio, Central Texas, Texas in general may not be the place for you uh, because it tends to be hot more days than it is cool. Uh, with the heat comes drought <clears throat> and no rain and that can cause a lot of problems especially with your foundation especially with your plants especially with your animals so make sure you're taking the necessary steps to ensure your foundation stays on the level that your plants stay alive and obviously your animals and yourself uh, stay in good health as well and if the heat doesn't if you don't mind the heat if you can take a little bit of the heat um, the best thing to always have in your truck and your vehicle is an umbrella. Yeah. Have an umbrella because just being under the shade will help you survive. And last but not least, and we can talk about a lot more, but we want to end it with flash floods and hail. H-A-I-L, hail. Yeah, so hail is a roof killer here in the Central Texas area. If you're a roofer though, you're gonna appreciate the business. You're gonna love it. <laughs> but it'll just happen out of nowhere. We'll get these like little micro bursts that'll come, just literally feel like they come out of nowhere. Uh, and a lot of times they're associated with high winds, heavy rain, and hail. And we're not talking about little pea-sized hail, we're talking about quarter size, sometimes even softball size hail. And just imagine what a huge, softball sized piece of ice is gonna do to your roof or your car oh. when it falls from the sky. Or your head. Or your head, <laughs> make sure you stay inside. Don't it be gets outside. pretty crazy here in the Central Texas area. Uh, it's just conditions are ripe yeah. for a lot of weird weather. Uh, and in addition to that weird weather, we'll get flash 
floods. So you'll see all the time when you're driving little water gauges on the side of the road for flash floods. If you see it up to a certain point, you should always know to turn around and not drown. Yeah, turn around, don't drown. That's a big saying around here. All right, so that wraps up our list of reasons why you might not wanna move into the San Antonio area. If you feel like we missed anything, let us know in the comments down below. There's a variety of things that we could have talked about that we didn't, but let us know in the comments below. If you like videos like this and you wanna see more of them, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification, do all those YouTube things. If we don't see you in the comments below, we will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Bye. Bye-bye.